Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from therighttrader.com back again with another cryptocurrency video. Today, I'm going to be talking about Cardano ADA. Now, Cardano is obviously one of the cryptocurrencies that has gained a lot of traction recently. As you can see, in the past seven days alone, it's up a whopping 20%, and a lot of other cryptos have actually dropped in this time period, whereas Cardano was one of the few with a couple other altcoins that actually increased and it was a significant increase, as you can see here, pr pretty much been going up uh, ever since the last seven days. Now, it is just below uh, 10 cents. I do believe we tested that 10 cent level on this, uh, this attempt. And why is this a big deal? Well, as you can see, just a few weeks ago, Cardano was actually a cryptocurrency that was around the 10th spot, I believe. And now we are right near that uh number five spot uh, based on a market cap of $3 billion right now. So it's been increasing. We're moving up that ranking as predicted, as I talked about in my previous videos. And I think that's going to continue, right? I think we're going to bypass Bitcoin Cash. There's no reason why we should be below Bitcoin Cash right now on a fundamental level, right? Based on what the project has going for it. And uh, Ripple, take a look at this. I'm going to talk about the fundamentals here of Cardano a little bit. You're going to find some really interesting things. But one of the things that I wanted to show you was this right here. The possibility for Cardano to have 1 million transactions per second. Uh, and this was in their Layer 2 solution, Hydra, uh, which is a in a paper that they published uh, back in March of this year, which kind of maps out their scaling solution, their Hydra scaling solution, uh, which is expected to be able to process over 1 million transactions per second. Now, if you don't know how big of a deal this is, just take a look at this picture in comparison, right? These are the cryptocurrency transaction speeds compared to Visa and PayPal. Now, take a look, right? Bitcoin, biggest crypto out there, it only has the capability of 7 transactions per second right now, right? Ethereum is at around 20 seconds per transaction right now. If you move into some of the faster options like Litecoin or Bitcoin Cash, you're around 60 transactions per second. Uh, some of the faster ones like Ripple, around 1,500 transactions per second. And then, uh, you know, the, the fastest uh, network is, of course, Visa here with 24,000 transactions per second. Now, let's keep in mind, right, what we're going to have with, uh, with Cardano here is a potential 1 million transactions per second. That is way more than any of these, right? Even the biggest, which is Visa. So that just shows you the potential here as far as the, the speed of the network is gonna be uh, like nothing we've seen before. That's a huge deal, right? Especially with the need for scalability, the need for more transactions per second, especially for a cryptocurrency, right? Which is a, a full global infrastructure uh, where people are gonna be sending and transacting across the world it could eventually lead to, you know, the need for millions of transactions uh, per second. And that's why Cardano uh, is, is filling that spot, right? And, and that's something that's not easy to do. You need to keep in mind that Cardano and their team have been working with very smart people, PhDs around the world to craft the best cryptocurrency. And, and going back to CoinGecko, right, where we see all these different type of cryptos, you have to remember Cardano is not just trying to be a fast cryptocurrency, it's not just trying to be another uh, staking cryptocurrency like Tezos, right? Which has actually kind of fallen in recent times as, you know, I think uh, one of the only things that people look at Tezos for right now is the staking. Now we're seeing Ethereum, Cardano move towards that. There's more competition. You need a little bit more than just staking, right? That's how I feel right now. And if you look at uh, Cardano, what they're exactly working on here, their roadmap is absolutely beautiful. I, I love this layout, and also I wanted to point out that Cardano has done a very subtle uh, website rebranding that you may not have noticed as well, and why do I think this is uh, important? Because if you take a look at the website, it's extremely professional and clean, right? So this is marking their shift towards becoming a, uh, you know, top-tier AAA cryptocurrency, right? And in fact, I should also mention the uh, recent news that we got today which is that Cardano uh, is actually now partnered with Coinbase for their uh, Coinbase custody service. This opens up Cardano uh, and their cryptocurrency ADA for 
uh, big institutional investments and uh, huge multi-million dollar uh, investors because uh, a lot of them need uh, a custodial service to be able to invest in these cryptos. And that's where Coinbase comes into play. Now, Cardano has not been listed yet on Coinbase, but as this article here mentions, uh, that it may be listed by the end of 2020. If you ask me, I absolutely think it's going to be listed by the end of 2020. It could even be within the next one to three months uh, that it could be listed and expect a huge increase in price when that happens, right? Because right now it is on certain exchanges like Binance, which is, of course, the exchange that I use myself. And also, I should point out that Cardano is my biggest cryptocurrency holding right now. Uh, so full disclaimer there, I'm not trying to pump it or anything, uh, but uh, I like where it is. I like the price, and that's why it's my largest holding. Now, with the potential Coinbase listing here coming sooner rather than later, right now, you know, the main exchange is Binance, which, like I said, that's my recommended exchange. Link uh, in the description of this video to Binance if you want to invest in Cardano. Not financial advice, just my personal opinion. And, of course, my favorite exchange is Binance, the one that I use myself. But... Uh, you have to think when it opens up to uh, the, the large investors on Coinbase and, and the many investors on Coinbase, that is going to probably push the price pretty much instantly to 50 cents if it's not already there uh, by the time it comes on Coinbase. So that's something I wanted to point out as well. Now, moving back to that, um, that overview here, the roadmap, what do we have here? Well, we have the five steps to Cardano's completion, so to say, right? And the first step was Byron. This was the foundation, uh, the foundational building blocks to create uh, Cardano, right? The, the base of what the cryptocurrency is. We've already completed this, right? We're on to Shelly now. And of course, Shelly is launching very soon, uh, right? So as far as this is concerned, this is going to bring all the staking and the decentralization, right? We're going to further de that decentralization and we're going to have the uh, capability for the staking, right? This is the Shelly era of Cardano, period of growth and development for the network, uh, of course, bringing, you know, the proof of stake and um, the, the ability to uh, participate in the network through that staking, further decentralizing the cryptocurrency. Absolutely huge, right? And then that's basically where we are now. Next up, we've got uh, Gogan, which is the smart contracts, decentralized application side of things, right? This is going to be hugely taking on things like Ethereum, and many others, right? And Cardano here already has these two things looking very well and completed. Um, smart contracts, I'm sure they're going to do this fantastically as well, putting further pressure on Ethereum, further competing with things like Ethereum. And keep in mind, right, by the time we're here uh, around these two, we will probably be a top three cryptocurrency. I have no doubt about that. Right now, I just don't see how other cryptos here, uh, Ripple and all that, even Ethereum, I think it's going to be the battle between Cardano and Ethereum for that third and, and second spot. And, you know, at that point, any of these other cryptos are, are probably going to be continuing what they have been doing. But I don't see them making a spike into the realm of Cardano, Ethereum and Bitcoin. I really think these are going to be top three here for the next probably three to five years. So that's absolutely huge, right? I mean, we're looking at uh, right now, Ethereum, $25 billion market cap expected to increase. You know, I think we, we could really be seeing... Cardano, Ethereum, and Bitcoin being somewhere at a, a 30, 60, uh, and of course, for, for Bitcoin, it could be much more, right? That could be, you know, $400 billion in market cap. But for Ethereum and Cardano, we're going to be looking at somewhere between 30 to probably $90 billion in market cap, right? So for Cardano, that's that's a pretty significant, you know, 10 times increase right there for each $30 billion in market cap, which I absolutely think is going to happen. That would be a return back to $1. And that would uh, also, you know, be a significant uh, price level to reach as well. Uh, that's something I'm going to be talking about when we look at the actual uh, more advanced chart side of things, which I'll uh, do a little quick analysis here uh, later in this video. In, in just uh, a few minutes here, but uh, moving back to the actual project side of things, right? Um, take a look at their website. I think they did a very sleek and professional job at rebranding here. The website, it's all coming together, right? Uh, that That's really what I have to say about that. Now, just to complete this uh, roadmap overview here, uh, after the smart contract side of things, we're going to have the mass scaling component. Of course, the final step here, the, the, um, cherry on top of the cake is going to be the Voltaire uh, era, which is going to be the final pieces, as it's mentioned here, 
for the Cardano, Cardano network to become a self-sustaining system. That's where we're going to have all the governance things come into play. Things like voting uh, on changes on the network, etc. That is going to be uh, where this is going to happen. And that's really going to mark, you know, the, the pinnacle of a completed cryptocurrency, right? A, a system where we will be able to update the network in a, in a democratic manner uh, based on, you know, uh, various methods of accountability and, and such uh, with also the proof of state network. It's going to be much easier to do that and really set up a, you know, it says right here, a, both a voting and treasury system uh, to be in place, right? And also Cardano will be truly decentralized and no longer under IOHK's management at this point. It's going to be fully, you know, on its own, running on its own. So, you know, I, I think it's, a, it's, it's beautiful, right? A great roadmap, great setup, already all mapped out right here for you. You can take a look at this. And like I said, I mean, these are just the fundamentals. It's, it's looking uh, fantastic in my opinion. If we look at the price side of things, one thing I wanted to point out with Cardano's price is a couple things. First off, uh, obviously very cheap. We're below 10 cents. We have not reached the back above that key 10 cent level yet. That's probably going to happen within the next one to three months though. So keep that in mind. That's my, my, my estimate and my prediction there. Uh, next, not many institutions and funds have invested in Cardano yet. That's a huge playing field. Uh, you, you've seen them invest in Ethereum, right? Mainly Bitcoin for now, but also uh, Ethereum. Usually 25% of their holdings at least are in Ethereum. And a lot of the funds that I saw, a lot of the big institutional funds only have about a percent or less in Cardano holdings. That's going to change, especially as Cardano becomes a bigger threat to Ethereum. They're not going to want to miss out on this. They're going to be forced to uh, load up on, on some Cardano. That, that's just how it is. There's, there's no question about that. And of course, one other thing that I wanted to mention, it sort of goes hand in hand with the previous two things I mentioned, is the fact that Cardano's price isn't really manipulated like many of the other cryptos uh, out there, right? It is a very healthy, normal uh, price action. And in fact, it's actually been a bit rough, right? Cardano was in a, a um, subdued price movement for for you know, over a year, right? Very flat, not much going on, uh, not any crazy spikes or anything like that. We just have that previous big spike back in, in 2018. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's been very normal, healthy price action. We saw that dip here just a few months ago in March, uh, where we were around two cents, and then we've been rising back up ever since. I really think here we're going to make that move above 10 cents onto 20 cents. And after that, we're going to be adding that 50 cent level. Of course, $1 is going to be the key uh, to, to really calling a, a, a completion to, you know, this first step of Cardano being really where it should be, in my opinion, right? I think it, this should be at least a $10 billion cryptocurrency, if not $15, $20 billion right now. Uh, so let's take a look at the chart here uh, to finish off this video. And this will really complete the um, overall, you know, view on what Cardano should be. I also wanted to point out that... Uh, Look at the cryptos right now. Look at which ones are doing well. Many of them are smaller altcoins, decentralized, uh, you know, working on, you know, things like Kyber Network, stuff like that. Um, Cardano is one that's been doing good as well here. Uh, this is in the past day, but if you look at the past seven days, it should become even more clear uh, what's going on here. We're, we're really already seeing an altcoin season. I mean, it's clear as day, right? Um, I don't think anybody can argue with that. And right here, you can see it, right? Bigger cryptocurrencies, a lot of them in the red, a lot of the smaller altcoins, deeply in the green, especially Cardano right over here with that 20% in increase in the last seven days. So taking a look at the more detailed chart here, wanted to point out just a big picture here. So of course, we have the uh, extended flat period here that we had since 2019. Uh, we're expected to move out of this here uh, pretty much within the next months. Uh, really the next month to, to two here, I think we're going to be above 10 cents. And of course, you know, keep in mind that all time high here, uh, that looks like it was around a dollar and 40 cents. So, you know, one of the key levels that we want to reach is of course this $1 area. That's really, uh, that key target level, that 10 times increase from where we are now. And, you know, we could even move high right back above that uh, to a dollar 20 cents a dollar 40 cents of course but initially here we're looking at that one dollar level uh very key in in you know that that 1000 percent increase of course 
And of course, that midway mark, 50 cents, is also a key area, right? It looks like 40 cents was actually a pretty big resistance level, uh, specifically. So if I go ahead and zoom in here, you'll really see the clarity of the pattern uh, because we broke out of the downtrend. That's a key thing to keep in mind. That's uh, That's been done. And now we are actually trending higher alongside this uptrend line. And uh, this uptrend line is really key, in my opinion, because it is what's going to carry us above 10 cents and, and push us into that 20 to 50 cent range. So how is that going to happen? Pretty straightforward here. We already tested the 10 cent level. This is the first thing that we needed to see. Now kind of completing this um, cup and handle. And now, as in every cup and handle pattern, right, we have the cup, of course, like this. And um, excuse the drawing, but once we reach the uh, previous top, we get that pullback, which is exactly what we're seeing. We'll pull back down to the uptrend line. We'll bounce up in between a couple times, and we're going to get that breakout. And so as soon as that happens, right, as soon as we get that breakout, look at that, uh, we'll be on to 15, 20 cents, right? And, and you know, we may pull back, test that 10 cent level again, but really we'll be on our way to 50 cents. And, and there's not that much resistance after this 10 cent level, right? Uh, that's the good thing as well. So if we zoom out just a bit here, you'll see that we have a bit of resistance at 20 cents, and then it's pretty much onto 40 cents and 50 cents. We're there. That's it. So with the Coinbase listing, uh, all these things, all these project updates coming into play, I think it, it's really going to be a breeze. And, you know, that's about it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Cardano down in the comment section below. I want to hear your opinion. I want to hear what you think Cardano is going to be like. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. Link in the description. And also check out my technical analysis master course. It's the ultimate guide to technical analysis trading for both stocks and cryptocurrencies. Less than $20 and comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Link to that in the description of this video. Yeah, I've got nothing to lose by giving it a try. And thank you so much for watching, everyone. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications to stay updated. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.